Topics from the University Dualism, the world of the penumbra Part 1 Whatever is currently in a phase of change and thus in progress throughout the universe, that is, in all galaxies, universes and multiverses, points without exception to the fact that there exist some special effects. These special effects are a mixture of the attributes of the light source and the world of darkness. These two worlds are intertwined and neither is superior to the other. Although from a human point of view, the effects and attributes of the world of darkness, the positronic world, are considered bad, harmful, and dangerous, but without this world, there can be no movement anywhere in the universe. In other words, the contradiction and discrepancy between these worlds is the cause of motion. The above statement can be better understood by using a few simple examples, which are as follows. In a simple pin battery, electricity is generated due to bipolarity, positivity and negativity. Water flows in rivers because of the difference in height between two points. Lightning is triggered by the potential difference between two clouds or between the cloud and the earth due to positive and negative electric charges encountering each other. The wind blows due to the difference in pressure between two regions. The osmotic property acts due to the difference in concentration between two liquids. The list is continuous as there are dozens of such examples. However, if these two opposing worlds did not exist, emergence of phenomena would never have been possible and the ecological systems would not have been able to undergo the process of metabolism. As earlier on mentioned, each of these two worlds has its unique effects. However, different beings are affected by the attributes of both the world of light, the electronic world, and the world of darkness. If the effects of light on a living being are greater than the effects of darkness, we consider such a being of light and otherwise we consider it a being of darkness. It should be noted that this simple explanation of the two worlds is intended to serve the purpose of facilitating the comprehension of the subject. An example, the scorpion is called a creature of darkness because this animal kills its prey with its poison to obtain its food, its blood is poisonous, in an extreme case the scorpion will feed on its babies, which it carries on its back just to survive. Furthermore, radioactive emissions have no effects on it. On the other hand, a butterfly is called a being of light because it has colorful, beautiful, and pleasant wings. During its gentle flight, the butterfly leaves a good and peaceful effect on the mind of the observer. It feeds on flower juice and is completely harmless. It is obvious that, from a human point of view, the second creature is considered good and the first one evil. While from the point of view of creation, the two creatures are in the same category. Since the two belong to the animal phase but from two different energy sources. The reason for this, apart from the effects each of them has on its environment, is that the two animals go through their separate process of perfection. Through the teachings of Master Elohi, Ostad Elohi, about the process of perfection, we learn that the two creatures discussed above after death in a particular process under the influence of environmental and genetic effects. Join a mental group that is trying to form a superior generation with more experience in information about themselves and the environment in the animal phase. Of course, the soul of the scorpion and that of the butterfly will play an important role in this process. The purpose of this article is, of course, not to go into the details. For this reason, we will refrain from describing the different levels of perfection in the animal phase and to determine whether the soul of a butterfly is united with that of a scorpion after death or not. In the same vein as the scorpion, all decomposers, that is, animals that cause the process of decay to occur can be classified as creatures of darkness. This is because destruction in the general sense is considered as an act of darkness. 
Now imagine that the world of darkness, positronic world, did not exist. In this case, decay and decomposition certainly will not take place. This will result in planet Earth being buried under a multitude of plants and corpses and the garbage it has produced by itself. Consequently, growth in the general sense would stop. The purpose of this article is just to give a brief and compact explanation of the reason for the creation of these two worlds, which in conflict with each other but are also closely connected. You can follow the scientific discussion in this article from the book titled Biology of the Quantum Dimension. In future articles, we will explore the effects of light and darkness on the process of perfection. light and darkness. In the creation report, specifically in the section on the creation of the first creature, which, of course, must be the origin of all multiverses and all living beings, Ostad Elohi, Master Elohi, discussed the two main periods of internal changes and developments in that creature. He called them Mahiat, and he called these activities internal boiling of the Mahiat. Upon in-depth study of Master Elohim's report, we find that because of the developments that have taken place during one of these two boiling after perhaps billions of years, these two opposite worlds have emerged that are mutually opposed. These two worlds of light and darkness have some very precise scientific properties that are not concerning the definitions that were presented to us before the University of Perfection was founded. In one part of this report, you can easily extract the origin of the two worlds. That part of the report reads, After the internal boiling, when he regained consciousness and looked around, all he saw was darkness. In what he called darkness, he saw a piece of light that split the darkness like a ray of sunshine. From the fourth paragraph of the report, End of part one. Footnote. The complete creation report can be found in the German section under Article 8. For all other languages you will find this under Article 7. Research and Analysis Farah Mars Tabish Sources Master Elohi's works in the book titled The Creation from Master Elohi's Perspective The New Elementary Particle Physics by Farah Mars Tabish